Hello and welcome to the Sports Encounters latest World Cup coverage. Today we will review the match which is going to be played between Pakistan and Zimbabwe at Palikali Stadium, Kandy, tomorrow. Uh, we will discuss basically what the team composition would be in the match as far as Pakistan is concerned, who were battered by New Zealand the other day. With me, Hamad, what do you think? What would be the playing eleven in this match? I think there will be one team in the opening <coughs> opening department. Okay, and I think Ahmed Shahzad will be the one who will miss out the match. And uh, maybe Kamran Akmal will be opening for Pakistan in tomorrow's match. All right. What do you think about Umar Akmal's injury? He it has been learned that he has broken his index finger. And uh, don't you think Asif Shafiq is going to replace him in the middle order? Actually, uh, till yesterday there was news that uh, he has a recovered from the injury, and they, he, there's a chance that he may miss out the match. But today, Afriz said that he is completely fit, 100% fit, and available for selection tomorrow for tomorrow's match. So that's uh, really, uh, actually we also broke the record, uh, report, uh, I think it was, on, it was on Friday or Thursday, uh -huh. that both brothers are again playing the same game, the Blackberry the the Black game, okay. which they did in uh, Sydney as well, Okay. after the Sydney test. Okay, okay. So uh, this is the Black Milling thing again, which is causing Pakistan concerns, uh, uh, oh, especially in the match, which is going to be very important for Pakistan selection. In the quarterfinal stage. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, talking about Zimbabwe team, they played really well in their last game. Uh, they very clicked a lot. Especially Brandon Taylor got some runs under his belt. Yeah. So, what do you think? Uh, how are they going to play Pakistan in this match? Uh, they did really did well against the Sri Lankans. Uh, their opening the opener did a tremendous job. All right. And the main concern was there for the, the throughout the tournament is their middle order. Okay. Who consistently de uh, denying their. Uh, not supporting their opener. Okay, okay. So this is the main concern for the Zimbabweans. It's a good sign for the Zimbabweans that Renat Allen got some runs and he was their main batsman from last one or two years or so. Okay. So the main, the key for the Zimbabwean will be Taylor and his their uh, skipper Chikambura. Chikambura, right. And the uh, Taibu, who will also a key member there. Especially Chikambura, why? Uh, because he has birthday today, tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there will be his 25th, 26th, 25th birthday. All right. All right. All right. So let's talk about Pakistan's bowling attack. What do you think? What is the bowling combination Afridi will go with? I think uh, only one need to work. Okay. Uh, they need to drop Shreya Bakhtar out of form Shreya Bakhtar. Okay. And bring in, please bring in Mahab Razin. He is the man who should be there all the time in the playing eleven. All right. What made you think that? He was consistently performing well. Why he was out? Why he's not in the team? He was performing in the Dubai against South Africa. He was performing in New Zealand against New Zealand in the condition. Mm -hmm. If he's not doing this, why? why? He's not. Especially when you consider that boxer are reversing in the mm -hmm. later stages, and uh, he's, the, he's the best component of reversing right now in the past country. Yes. Yeah. After Umar Gul, he's the best. And both Gul and Riyadh make a tremendous comp uh, combination for the. Uh, you know, in the batting power play as well. Okay, okay. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, Pakistan is going to com uh, compete with Zimbabwe tomorrow, and they should win this comfortably to make them a good chance of winning uh, the Group A, you know, basically, and uh, prepare for the Australian game. Uh, with me, Hamad, and uh, we together say goodbye.